Today we are going to be exploring double bar graphs and how we make them. So first of all, we have our grid paper right there, and we also have some data. It shows what sport between soccer and baseball the boys and girls like to play. The first thing we should be adding is a title. We need a title to tell us what the graph is going to explain. So I'm going to give this graph a title. The title of this graph is Kids Favorite Sports. The next thing I need to do is develop some kind of scale to put numbers along the side right here. But if I just do this, it's not going to fit all of the data. I have to look at my data and realize what's the biggest number I'm going to have to put down. Can you see the biggest number I'll have to put down? You're right. 12. So I need my data to fit 12. Since I need it to fit 12, I'm going to put down a number to represent each square. But that might get kind of crowded, so instead of putting a number for each square, I'm going to put a number for every second square. And then I know that I'll reach 12, which is the biggest number that I need to put down. This is called the scale. Along the bottom, I need to put the choices that the kids have, so I'm going to write soccer and baseball. Now I have to plot my data. So if I notice, the nope, never mind. What I have to do first is develop a key or a legend. The key or the legend tells me what color or design I'll have to represent boys and girls, and I'll put that in the top right corner. As you can see, boys will be blue and girls will be red. Now I can start to plot my data. So how many boys like soccer? 12. So I'm going to make sure that I make this really nice and that 12 boys play soccer. And I'm going to color this in nicely. You, of course, will do a much better job because you'll take a lot of time. And how many girls like ba soccer? Nine girls like soccer, so I'm going to represent nine right there. And you'll notice that the nine is not on our scale, but I know that each square represents one person, and the nine is between the eight and the ten. So that's where nine goes. Next, I'm going to put in baseball. There are seven boys that like baseball. There's my seven boys and ten girls that like baseball. Now the last thing you'll notice is that I left a little space here between soccer and baseball and that way it doesn't get too full and the graph looks a little bit neater. Also, what's really important is that you'll notice I have boys first and then girls. And I did that with each bar graph section. Boys first and then girls. If I added another sport like hockey, I would put boys first and then girls. And that is how we create a double bar graph. It has five things. It has a key, a title, a scale, and the options down here, and it's very nice and neat. Those are the five things you need.